Hey everybody, it's Mike here from Landon Custom Classics. Time to switch hats. We're doing a little project today. I don't really care for this light fixture. It has a little dimmer switch over here, one of the regular light switches with the dimmer and stuff on there. So uh, we're going to turn that off so we don't have power flowing up here. This also had a switch on it. This is just an old camper fixture. Looks like this light come out of the little pop-in thing here. I actually have a... Uh, <clears throat> this is one of your happy lights for your get your vitamin D or whatever from the sun. Uh, here we go. We just found this. I've been going to put a little uh, ceiling fan in here. And where I live in a camper, it's kind of hard to find something that'll fit. This is made by Farpoint. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. I was just at the discount store and they had these for 15 bucks. Even has an awesome remote control. So let's get in here and see what we got in the box. So you have a regular fixture deal you click on there. And it clips to the fan. Or you got your uh, household fixture here that I can plug in to the, the thing behind here into the house. So uh, and then you got a cute little remote with a little sticky mount deal you can put by your uh, sit by your chair or whatever, wherever you want it. You can just stick it to the wall. So we're going to get the uh, little piece out of here. And the uh oh, that's, oh okay little plugs in here <clears throat> get this out so we can wire it up i'll show you guys how this works a bunch of little screws and stuff in here okay there's the deal here has a little uh power plug on there this plugs into and then drop the plug here oh man okay so then it uh you run this through this base you're gonna screw this to your base plate up behind this old light fixture then you're gonna connect these wires into your existing household wiring <clears throat> A lot of you that have been watching me for a while you know i kind of kind of grew up in a family that didn't really have anything so i learned how to do everything so we're gonna put our electrician hat on here looks like we uh <coughs> need a phillips screwdriver here get my little milwaukee drill here i don't use screwdriver on my arthritis it kills me okay that off okay the only thing that's getting me here is is these gonna reach the uh, drill holes we may have to do a little modifying here it doesn't look like it's gonna fit this outlet quite right so we got a white and a black here black's actually hot and your white's neutral okay so then i'm gonna put this on here i don't ever touch wires just because the uh you never know something goes wrong and it'll electrocute you i actually install a lot of outlets and do a lot of work for people <laughs> I don't even turn off the power. I just always treat electricity as it's hot. We're gonna put the gray colored one on the black there, the white one on the white. Test that. Here, just put her up here. Now what we're probably gonna do with this, let's see, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit properly in this outlet so we're just going to put it to one side and put one screw in it for now let me get a different outlet piece later i think what you need is one of the bars that goes across here so you can put the smaller piece on here 
But for now in the video, we're just going to pretend everything fits right. I'll fix it when I get done. I said I don't want to leave you guys and run off to go hunt down new hardware. I've already started filming, so we're just going to go with it. Okay, here you go. Pretty easy install. Then we're going to hook this up. Put that wire up in there. And then you're just going to put this on here and twist it till it clicks. There you go. Like I say, it looks alright. Kind of covers it up. We'll fix it. Make everything right. Then we'll unwrap our little remote here. My dad got one too. I bought him one. He's got it all set up. Like I say, you pull your little plastic out of here. So your battery connects. Then you can put, it comes with 3M tape. You can stick this next to your chair or something. Set your remote in. You got to turn the switch on back here. There you go. Boom. Got going and the fans on. Go up here and I'll we'll show you. It's actually blowing, moving a lot of air. Help keep my place uh, cool for the summertime. So we got uh, our light there. We can turn it off and on. And then it has different light. It gets bright. It says 2,500 lumens. Let's see. I don't want to give you the wrong info. Yeah, 2,500 lumens. And then this one makes it dimmer. And then, let's see. Hit the bulb. It goes out. Bright, dim, out. So you hit that. Boom. You see, you see the little fan. You hear that little bugger going? It's all the way up, I think. I don't know. There. Okay, I gotta get it back a little ways for it to read, pick up. There you go. A little fan in there. It's kind of cute, huh? Turn on our fan. Turn it up on high. There you go. Has a night light mode here. I'm gonna turn that off. It has a little moon button here. Night night light. Maybe I push. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Little remote. A little, little bit of a pain. Pretty cool though. My dad was running his from clear over in his chair. Don't know where the hiccup deal on it is. <laughs> Might need a new battery too. Some of this cheap stuff come. And it even has uh, your timer deals. There you go. That's kind of an orange light. More of a yellow light. Or you can do white light. There you go. Cool. Well, appreciate you all watching my short little video on how to install this little guy. We'll see how it holds up and uh, I can let you guys know if anybody has any questions about it. Like I say, it's made by uh, Farpoint. It's called Cool and Bright Socket and Ceiling Fan Light. Pretty nice for the price. I think it's well worth what I paid for it. So you can see you can't even hardly buy a used fan for 15 bucks. But yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope y'all have a great week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.